Hi everybody, this is Sermon here from SBL and welcome from the uh, Messe booth here in Frankfurt. Um, today I'd like to introduce our new uh, channel strip to you. Name is Frontliner and this is the uh, top of the line um, channel strip that we have. As you may know, we do have a, a smaller version called Track One and the Channel One pretty successful product and now the Frontliner uh, is the new highlight in that series. Now what does it consist of? First we have a microphone preamplifier. This is a discrete built uh, preamplifier. Um, very high quality. We have a special instrumental preamplifier as well. So there are, there are two uh, preamplifiers in this unit. Specialty is the possibility to, to change the amount of tube amplification in each of these uh, preamplifiers. So you, you can boost 15 dB of uh, uh, on that, that the tube is responsible to do 15 dB of the amplification or just standard wise 6 dB. That gives different tonalities and that's a very nice feature. The next section in that channel is the de -esser. Well that is one of our, as you may know, pretty favorite uh, tools. It's just a one-up de a very automatic. It's not based on, uh, on, on, on compression, but it's based on face cancellation. Now that has a uh, lot of um, less artifacts uh, in the process. There is an SD Tech LED up there telling you, well, there is S content in the audio, which you may want to get rid of. The next part is a fully featured um, compressor. Now this compressor has what we call a double VCA technology, that means that, that two compressors are actually splitting their responsibility to compress a signal in the, in the positive and in the negative wave. And thereby all the artifacts um, are, uh, that a VCA may produce are just uh, in half. So the audio quality is much, much more pristine and it can compress it about double, double the amount of a standard compressor without producing any artifacts. And that's a pretty powerful tool. Uh, you have all the, the features you may know, attack release, threshold ratio, makeup game, but you can also switch into the auto mode where we have an adaptive automation in here. That does, it means that now the time constants are set in an adaptive mode and they change according to what the envelope filters in the input generate and, and tell the, the VCA how it should react. It's not a fixed feature, it's not like a fixed resistor in there that, that is uh, like a fixed amount or a fixed time for attack and release. These times are still variable but according to what the music does. This is especially important when you do front end and when you record somebody singing or playing an instrument because you don't know how loud the next note will be. And in order to capture most of the recordings in a pristine way, this feature is very powerful. The next section is the equalizer section. Now these are uh, a three band EQ, low mid band, mid high band and an air band. And in addition, we have a tube saturation knob in here where you can, there is a second tube in that unit and this allows you to create what uh, tape saturation does. Um, it's similar, it's not the same, it's similar. It makes the, the audio much more dense, at the same time um, more powerful and um, without increasing the overall level of it. It's almost like compression but with a different attitude. The, 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 the harmonic spectrum of a tube makes the audio the signal shine a bit more. There are the, the harmonics that the tube produce uh, um, let the, uh, the signal stand out in the mix much easier. So that's also very nice. Nice VU meter, which you can switch between VU and gain reduction, a calibration, or between the VU and PPM. An output and a mute. Up here, this is a logic in there. Now, in, in today's recording, a channel strip is very useful, but you may not need all of these. And after you've recorded, you're in mix mode. Would you use a channel strip then? Maybe not. So what we thought of doing is, we give 
each section individual in and outputs. And now when you are in, in mix mode, you can just use a DSO for one signal, a compressor for another signal, or the tube saturation and EQ for a third signal. You can also combine each one. Okay, I want to have the DSO plus the EQ and the compressor is somebody else is for another signal. All this is possible with these knobs. So in the end, you got a tool that is not just a channel strip, but it also is useful to, uh, as an, sort of an analog plug-ins in the mix mode. Um, yeah, cool. Bye-bye.